What's up everybody, we back for another reaction video. And if you're here on this reaction channel for the first time, or if you already subscribed to the channel, go ahead and smash that like button, drop your comments below, make sure you share this reaction channel. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, what you waiting on, subscribe to the channel, turn on that bell notification so you can be aware the next time your boy Mr. I See That drops his next reaction video. Man, when I seen the title of this, I'm like, what the hell? Like, how, how does something like this even happen? Man, this is sad. Straight up, y'all. Straight up. And this is this is going viral right now, too, man. So I don't know if y'all heard about this situation, but I felt that I had to react to this and bring this to y'all, man. So with that being said, we gonna be reacting to tragic drowning of black child under supervised swim instructor. Like how how does the child still drown and die when the swimming when the swim instructor is present is like there? Like how does this happen, man? Like man, this this is crazy. So we gonna go ahead and jump into this reaction and see what's going on, y'all. Four year old child drowned during a supervised swimming lesson and the people who decided to not actually supervise him are not being held accountable. Let's put up his picture full mass. That's sad. Uh, this four year old. The death, this four year old child was announced on Wednesday by the Burke County Sheriff's Office. The child's family is seeking answers. That child's name is Israel Scott. Look at him. Israel Scott was attending his second supervised swimming lesson before the incident, the tragedy occurred at a residential pool on June 14th. Family Steele is seeking answers. The county deputies, here's your background. The county deputies arrived on the scene after 11 a.m. that Tuesday, they were supervised swim instructor. Like, do you not have any other staff with you? Is it just you? Is it just you and the one child, or is it you and multiple children? Like, are you overran by this many children? You can't keep your eye on all of them. If that's the case, you shouldn't be no swimming instructor with all these kids there. Maybe one, two, three max. Like, this is crazy, man. They were informed that the toddler was found unresponsive in a pool before a nurse on the scene performed CPR. First responders transported him to a local hospital where he died. Let's put up a picture of the family. This family has been turned upside down, Big inside facts. out. The mother was nervous about even allowing her four year old to engage in swimming practice. There's more to this story. On June 15th, Israel's mother, Dory Scott, posted an emotional message on Facebook along with a series of happy and energetic photos of her late son. She said, and I quote, my heart has been ripped out of my chest. I can't believe that I would never see my baby boy again, Scott wrote. Cherish every moment with your baby. Hug them tight because you never know. Big I would have never imagined that I would only get four years with my little man. My life would never be the same. Damn, man. Grieving mother recalled her son being nervous when she signed him up for a week just one week of swim lessons last month. But he was so excited to start his journey, according to the Shade Room. Scott told the outlet that the instructor, let's put her picture up. The instructor, whose name is Lexi Currington Ten Husen, did not, did not allow parents to sit in on a swimming lessons. What? So yeah. the mother. Whoa, 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 whoa. Time out. 
flag on the play. So you trying to tell me that this swimming instructor is charging individuals, families out here for her to teach and instruct their child on how to swim. They're paying their money. And when they drop their child off, they can't sit there and watch their child learn and grow within the journey of learning how to swim. They can't, you know, snap a photo or, you know, sit there quietly and just film you in the water with the kids. Showing them the techniques and the proper requirements on how to swim. What? What type of... Man, come on now. Hey, y'all get in the comments. Would you just drop your child off and not be able to, you know, participate or, you know, at least watch them learn how to swim? You paying your money. Even, I think, believe, if you go to the YMCA... You can sit there and watch. Come on, man. And it's like a community pool or something. Get out of here, man. Did not, did not allow parents to sit in on swimming lessons. So the mother, by rule of this instructor that you're looking at right here, the mother had to leave her child under the supervision of that instructor and wait in her car. Hell no. Hell no. You know, if the mother was there, the mother would have saved her child. True that. The mother would have supervised properly her child. True indeed. But this instructor had a rule. The rule was no parents allowed. A lady comes and she knocks on my window, Scott, recounts that grim day. I'm sitting in the car and she's like, come get your baby. And when she said that, she said it kind of rude like. Then I looked at her face and saw like tears in her eyes. So initially, I knew something was wrong. And I just started screaming. Man. No foul play has been suspected, according to the Burke County Sheriff's Office, Captain Jimmy Wilds. An investigation into whether criminal negligence was involved in Israel's death is ongoing per the shade room. Can I be very clear? This is very simple. That instructor had a duty of responsibility and obligation of care. Absolutely. This was criminal negligence. This child is dead. That woman is free. I want you to imagine it this way, because I know people are gonna push back and say, hey doc, you know, it was just a mistake, it was a tragedy. I want you to think about something. Imagine, if a white mother took a white child to an all black swimming camp. Woo! Imagine if the black instructor told the white mother, you cannot stay here while I train or instruct your white child in this water. Boy. The white mother goes to her car. The black instructor does not pay attention and the white child dies. Do you think the Burke County Sheriff's Office would be as, let's say, forgiving? Hell no. Hell no, man. You did what? You instructed this lady to go wait in her car while she paid money for you to give her child some swimming uh, lessons and the child died on your watch? Nah, you finna get locked up. For real, for real. I understand what he's saying, man, and it's a sad situation that he gotta put it in this type of form. Because it don't matter who you are, what your skin tone is, what race you are. It's all about accountability. But we know how the world works. And certain individuals, they just get away with certain things, man. And it's not cool at all. That ain't what's up, man. But damn, man, he, he right. If the shoe was on the other foot, man. This joint probably be up on CNN all over the place, man. Just crazy. Lady be locked up and everything, man. Just gotta do better as a 
as a whole, man, everybody, no matter what race, man, everybody's just wow, man. And just for her incompetence, that's what we're going to call it, her incompetence and lack of countability. You a swimming instructor. Defense attorney Lee Merritt, who was representing the Scott family, revealed to the outlet that the family was refunded their money by the instructor for the week's session, but offered no apologies, no apologies in the wake of the devastating tragedy. Curitan Tin Hewson has since removed her business and personal Facebook pages. Let's put a picture up again. I want you to know what she looks like, okay? She didn't even apologize to the family. Now, could the four-year-old swim? No, that's the entire reason why the four-year-old was there because he can't swim. On Monday, June 13th, Dory wrote, quote, my big boy's first day of swim lessons. He said he's a little nervous. So I went there and, you know, I got ready to sit down or whatever. And she was like, oh, parents aren't allowed. This is the four and up class. She says she followed Lexi's rules. And on day two of classes as she was waiting outside in her car. A lady comes and she knocks on my window. I'm sitting in the car and she's like, come get your baby. And when she said that, she said it kind of rude. Like, so like, then I looked at her face and I just saw like tears in her eyes. And so initially... I knew something was wrong and I just started screaming. She says she rushed to the pool. And wow. I walked in that fence. I walked in that fence and saw my baby laying on the side of the pool. And I saw some lady doing CPR on him. I just, I lost it. I heard someone behind me say, he got to the deep end. And I said, he got to the deep end? What do you mean he got to the deep end? She says Izzy was not moving or coughing. He was rushed to the hospital. They had already told us it wasn't looking so good because his eyes was dilated. And when they did the CAT scan, he had brain damage already. So he was under. How how does this four-year-old get to the deep end? You got the this, this, this swimming instructor and what they say, the nurse was there to give CPR. So that's two adults right there. What was the nurse at? Was the nurse not outside by the pool? Was the nurse inside? Man. RIP to that man. RIP to that man. Condolences to the family, man. Like the 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 lack of responsibility as an adult. You telling these parents that they can't stay there, they got to wait in their car. So now you are liable and responsible for their child. When they did the CAT scan, he had brain damage already. So he was under the water for quite some time. Izzy was pronounced dead the next day. You haven't had any communication with Lexi? I mean, have you talked to her or spoken to her since that, that moment where you found him? My understanding is she wanted to reach out to us, but she had been advised by the sheriff department that it probably wasn't a great idea. 11 days after oh, the incident no. on June 26th, uh -uh. Scott say they got a card in the mail from Lexi. Well, she sent, sent refund and, and she sent this card and it says, he is near to the brokenhearted. Walt and Dory, my heart breaks with you. Know that we're praying daily for God to wrap his loving arms around you and give you comfort and peace. What is your response to that, um, that card? I just feel like she should have reached out before because I just know if I was in that situation, I would be devastated. I, I don't care who told me not to reach out. It's a child involved. I'm going to reach out. All right, y'all. We back, man. Man. All they got was a card and a refund. Like she said, so what if the police told you not to, you know, reach out? It, it, if that was your child, you would want the other individual to reach out to you regardless, man. I know one thing, this lady better pick up the whole funeral cost and everything, like straight up. Even though that's not going to replace the life. Uh, uh, of the child, man. 
that family shouldn't have to pay for nothing. That lady need to go ahead and just pay for the whole funeral. She sent the car. That lady should have sent the car. She should have sent flowers. She should have sent like mad groceries, like any and everything. She should have said, hey, you guys have other kids. You know what? Hey, let, let, let me, you, you know what I'm saying? This, man, this is wild. And this lady is not being charged with anything. Like, how, how does something like this happen? Because last time I checked as an adult, if you, you know, present with a child and something happened to that child, like the individuals that leave the kids in the car with the windows up and it's hot, them cats end up going to jail. So how you not going to jail? You got kids on your watch and they die and you tell the parents that they can't stay there and watch their child? You are responsible for these lives that you have in your hand. Man, I, I, I don't know what's going on. This, this, this don't even sound right, man. But y'all let me know in the comments, man. Would you drop your child off at swim lessons? And then would you go wait in your car or leave? I don't know. Would you go wait in your car if this swim instructor told you that you can't stay there and watch? Would you even continue to let your child stay there? Y'all let me know in the comments. Because this is wild. I, I'm not doing it. You know what I'm saying? If I can't be there on my own free will and watch my child swim and learn how to, you know what I'm saying, maneuver through the water, then I don't, I don't want to do it. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm, man, like I said, I believe like at the YMCA and at the recreation centers and all of that, they got swim classes. So if you want to stand there and watch your child swim, you can or you drop them off and then you come back 30, 40 minutes, I believe something like that. But best believe that them cats is definitely, they watching and they got a few more eyeballs on, you know, how many kids is in the water and stuff, man. But anything could happen, but this is just a little strange, man. For real, for real. For real, for real, man. And then it's like all her social medias is taken down. Man, all like barely anything, barely anything. And then if you go on Google and try to look her name up, like the Facebook pop up, but it's like got some Arabic like writing. It's it's man, it's weird, man. Yeah, I tried to do some research on, on this lady, man. But hey, it is what it is, man. Um, it's just a sad situation. Condolences go out to this family, man. R.I.P. to to the to the to the little boy, man. Damn, you know how kids are. They excited when they about to go swimming, man. And now you you getting lessons on how to really maneuver through the water, man. You know kids love to play and jump in the pool, man. That's 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 one of the great qualities and great things about growing up and being a kid. You get to go to different swimming pools and the beach and stuff like that, man, and just have a good time. And that's all he was trying to do, man. Just try to get to the next level so he could really maneuver through these waters out here, man. Damn. But check it out. That's all I got for y'all on this reaction, man. So if you're here on this reaction channel for the first time, or if you already subscribed to the channel, make sure you smash that like button. Drop your comments below. Make sure you share this reaction channel. And if you're not subscribed, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Turn on that bell notification so you know when I drop my next reaction video. You dig? To all my day one subscribers and my new subscribers and my subscribers who just watching but you ain't subscribed yet, y'all know the vibe. Food.